Hello everyone. Our today topic is for AR refund. How we do the customer refund in AR? So the first thing I want to explain you what is refund and why we do the refund. The refund process in Oracle Receivable is to refund the overpayment amount of the customer to return back to the customer okay, through the refund process. So it may be the like business example. Okay, sometimes what happened? A customer paid duplicate invoices. Many times this mistake happened from the customer side. Okay, okay, you will think okay, why customer will pay like uh, two times. Okay, so if if the customer is very uh, like uh, uh, very critical customer for organization, so the customer is dealing more with the organization. He has like 100, 500 invoices, more invoices. So sometimes what happen? Okay, they do mistake. Their finance team, okay, they do the mistake. They make a overpayment for some invoices like this. Okay, so what happen when, uh, for example, okay, you have raised the invoice for uh, $10,000. Okay, so you have received a $10,000 in a instrument like uh, sometimes 500 2000 5000 like this okay after that you have received one more payment for 1000 okay so which is overpayment so now what is the option for this one you can create a receipt for this one and you can park as a own account because if if your customer is regular customer so of course okay so you will raise the some invoices and you can also notify to the customer that we have received a 1000 over payment okay and we don't have any open invoices so could we knock off this 1000 over payment with the uh, current transaction if the customer is confirmed then then you can knock off or else customer can ask Okay, you can refund uh, the, this 1000. I will pay separately for the coming transaction. Okay, so this may be one business scenario. The second scenario, maybe suppose, okay, uh, uh, you have raised the invoice for 10 items, okay, and you have uh, 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 received two items back from customer, okay. So you will make the credit note, and uh, through the credit note, okay, you can do the refund. So I will follow the uh, uh, two process. First, I will do the refund through the credit note and second, I will do the refund through the receipt. Okay, so now what are the setup is required for uh, refund activity? Okay, for the refund, first, first setup is uh, receivable activity. Okay, so you should define the receivable activity for this one. Received, receivable activity. We will define the receivable activity refund. And we will choose refund. The type is refund. Now we will select the GL account for this one. can choose any account for now and save it okay so now we are getting error you can only define one active electronic refund activity okay which means if you have already refund activity defined and which is active so you can't define the second refund activity if you want to define second, so you have to inactive first one. So let's check for the activity, which one is active. Go to type, refund and control F11. So I can see this one is already disabled. Yeah, test refund. This is active. So I will do inactive this one and save it. Okay. What I will do, I will take this account from here. I will create new one. A, B, C, 
refund abc refund here type is refund and i will give the accounts for okay so this is the first step the second if your profile option document sequencing numbering is always used then you have to assign the document sequencing to the receivable activity now i'm going to assign document sequencing to my activity avc refund laser I will save this one. Assignment. Okay. I will choose some other one. The sheet. This one. And assignment with null and did already exist. Assignment report for document. Okay, so what is saying the assignment an assignment with a null and data already exist cause an assignment report for document production ended. Okay, so now what I will do here I have to check for existing activity because same activity is already assigned here. Okay, so we can't give the uh, assignment for the others. First we have to inactivate that one, then we can give to this. So what I will do, I will search for refund. Okay, so this one is already now. I will create second one. Okay, so I have defined already. Now go to the receiver responsibility. Okay, create a transaction first. Okay, I will go to transaction, select credit memo. Select the customer number, line, different activity in, in description, item say example 2, unit price minus 200, minus 400. Distribution, it will be by default from the auto accounting, ok you can check uh, auto accounting video. If you want to know the how the account derives from auto accounting to distribution, invoice distribution. Now I will complete the credit notes. Okay, so credit note is completed. This is a credit note number. Now I will go to action. Okay. Okay, so don't go, don't go on the other steps. Just go on application. 
in application apply to click on refund refund apply it once you uh, select the refund refund attribute is enabled you can give the payment method so through which payment method you want to do refund check apply and save it once you saved so you can see one more tab will enable which will have the ap invoice number because the refund means payment you will do through the ap not through the ar ar you can only receive from the customer but if you want to pay to customer supplier you will pay through the ap so it will create a invoice in ap with the payment request type so, no. so now we can check the status this is an invoice number in ap ap invoice number okay now you can do one thing you can go to the ap responsibility or directly you can see the screen from here also okay click on invoice preference but but function not available so you have to go in the ap responsibility okay so let's go to ap responsibility and close this screen if i recurry this transaction so you can see the the due amount is is zero okay okay now you can see like okay 400 so okay now it's reflected okay refund 400 amount is zero now okay so i will go to the payables the payable responsibility and search the invoice number Sorry, this is receipt number, this is invoice number. Okay, so payment request is created and validated. So this is the first step. Okay. And second, I will do the refund okay through the receipt. go to receipts okay so now now we'll select the receipt method so the receipt method we'll select the receipt method enter the receipt number enter the amount which you want to refund and for which customer okay and click on apply And here apply to refund so you can see the refund activity here also apply date in the refund attribute same you can select the receipt the refund payment method is check okay and uh, no need to give any further information here click on apply and save it once you saved in the blue side one uh different status tab is enabled so you can click on here and uh, you can copy the invoice number okay And you can see amount is applied okay so it means refund is done so amount is applied i will go to the payable responsibility in payable responsibility i will 
I will query invoice number which is created through the refund. Okay. So, okay, so you can see the type is payment request and and this is a customer number and because if you search this customer number on the supply level so so you can't search because to create a payment request okay which is created for the refund is a separate process of oracle so it just it just copy the customer information okay so you can see the supply number supply site here just only few information you can see amount usd what and gl date payment currency payment rate date okay term state terms uh, payment method check okay which we have given in the refund attribute tab okay lines Okay, you can see the account one two two three one two two three. So which is a, a account which we have given on the refund? Okay, okay. So this is a, a same account. Okay, which we have given on the refund. So it's it's coming on the distribution. Okay, and uh, if you want to check the liability. Folder so field liability account. Okay. Okay, so this is a refund process. I hope the concept is clear. If you have any any doubt or or any query related with this topic, please comment me. And I will give you answer of your query. And one more thing, if you have not subscribed my channel, the Oracle King. So please subscribe my channel. And thank you for watching.